Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting this monochrome painting and practicing some shading from lighter to darker color as I said in just one color. First I'm starting off with making my sketch and I'm just gonna go and sketch the sailboat and also the horizon line and the distant mountains and actually nothing else. So as I said first the sailboat and I will add a little bit of masking fluid to the sails because I want to keep them white and behind them there will be mountains that are gonna be darker so it's easier for me to mask it than just to go around it. If you don't have a masking fluid you can of course just try to go around those sails and when painting in the mountains. And I did use a masking marker to paint in the lines, to paint in the borders and then use a masking fluid for mid middle part of the sailboat and also for the boat itself. And I am using a palette knife to spread that masking fluid. I find it to be easier and just the way that I avoid ruining my brushes. And I have in a video about using a masking fluid. So if you want to know more about that, I will put the link down in the description box so you can go ahead and check it out. After the masking fluid just completely dry. You have to leave it to dry absolutely completely. If you don't, you could just smudge it as I did. I was impatient and trying with my finger a couple of times if it was dry and then I smudged it, picked it up slightly so you can see right there on a left sail that there is something wrong with that. As I said, I was just trying to touch it to see if it dried and it wasn't dry. So now that it is, I've uh, sketched the horizon line and the top of the mountains and then privetted the entire paper. And for that monochrome color I will be using, I've just pre-mixed some indigo and turquoise blue. I like the color I get when I mix those two colors. So that is the color I will be using. And for the sky, I will be painting in those clouds, but not the entire sky, just some clouds. And as you can see, I'm using this, well, horizontal, not really uh, horizontal, but somewhat angled strokes. And that is it. That is the entire sky I'm going to paint. I won't be adding anything else. Quite simple. I was going from one side to another, just starting with belly of my brush and then slightly picking it up and leaving that lighter, uh, that thinner line for the well in the middle part of the sky. Then I went into painting the sea and also I did paint it wet on wet. So I did prevent the paper and then just again added some horizontal lines to the sea, avoiding the right part of the sea, just the left part, painting just the left part and also the lower part of the sea. After that, well, again, paper was still wet. I've painted in those mountains and I'm not bothered with the bleeding into my paper. It just doesn't bother me at all. I will later on go back and just fix that. But for now, that is okay. Now I'm using a smaller flat brush and just painting in lines on the sea. And this time the sea is not really completely dry, but it's not also very, very wet. And I'm painting in again those lines just here and there. And after the paint completely dried now and the mountain, sea, sky, everything, I did use a razor to erase the lines for the horizon line and the mountain line because they were visible and I didn't want them to be visible. So I've just used a razor and erased them. Also, I've added a couple of more lines. This time the, the paper is completely dry and I'm just using the light wash of my colors, my mix of indigo and turquoise blue to paint in those lines, thin lines. And I did paint them a little bit darker on again on the left side and a little bit lighter on the right side and also going upwards a little bit lighter. Then I moved on to painting my mountains and I turned around the paper because that is the easier for me to make in the straight line. So I did turn it around and I did not prevent the paper. Again, I'm, this is now painting wet on dry and I added a little bit of 
that indigo and turquoise blue and then turned my paper again around and added a little bit more and the edges I smudged it with a large round brush that I just rinsed in my water and then again with that same brush now that the paint here was wet added a little bit more of the paint because I did want my mountains to be the darkest also with the part the lower part of the sea and now you can see I'm just going with a brush with just clean water and well leaving that to smudge slightly into the sky to bleed slightly into the sky and again when the paint completely dried I moved my masking fluid and with the razor the masking marker and then painted in the sailboat and the boat I'm painting in neutral black just quite simply with no shadows or highlights just simple natural neutral black and after painting the boat I will move on to painting my sails and as you can see right now what I was talking about when touching the masking fluid I did pick it up slightly and it left with that part that is a little bit painted but you know I will go with it and make the best of that that is the point when you do make a mistake or do something that you weren't planning to do you just go with it and well use it in your best advantage at the end it turned out quite okay I think it doesn't matter that it wasn't covered and the paint got there it will look quite nice as you can see it will look like I actually planned that and with a little bit of darker mix of neutral of indigo and turquoise blue I've painted those lines on my sails and also with neutral black painting in those I'm not sure how they're called those well hmm not sure how they're called well that that is holding the sail upwards and I've painted in with as I said with neutral black and then again on the sails I will add a little bit more neutral black some scribbles on it and I think at the end they turned out just fine and also when painted in the sailboat it was just looking too lonely for me so I've added a couple of I think those are people some human figures that aren't very recognizable from that far but you know you can just imagine or while well, you when you make something like that paint something like that the eye and the brain just does their thing so I think at the end they do look like some people on the sailboat and the boat is not well not lonely that much anymore and at the end I will add a little bit more of texture to my sea in those lines as I said just beneath the sailboat and also in that left corner and again used the same color to paint in those lines a little bit darker because I want them to match the mountains and also in the mountains I will add a little bit more of the well a little bit more texture I guess I would call that because they were looking too flat to me so with a dry brush I've added a little bit more pigment here and there and just added a little bit more texture to them and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching for all your support and if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment tell me what you like what you didn't like and maybe give me some suggestions for the future I always love to hear your comments and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel that would also mean a very very much to me and without further ado, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!